What do you see in your mind's eye? People with long coats on. People with no clothes on? Long coats. Okay, tell me about that. What do those coats look like? One button at the top. Mm -hmm. Down to the knee. What color are these coats? They're white. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Straight. No design, mm -hmm. just white. Mm -hmm. And these people that are wearing these coats, how many are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what their bodies look like? The bodies that are wearing these coats? All different sizes. Mm -hmm. They don't have faces. They're all white. They're all white. So, would you tell me what this scene looks like? Where are they? Look a right room. A white room. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Is it a large room? Is it a small room? It's a large room. Mm -hmm. Look around. Is this room empty? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, as the observer, do you have a body there? No. Mm -hmm. So since you don't have a body in this place, we can move around. I'd like for you to move around this room and see it from a different angle. What do you see? I'm outside of the room. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm in space. Mm -hmm. So as you're outside of this room, what does this room look like from the outside, from space? It's on a ship. On a ship. How large is this ship? Hmm. Describe it for me. It's black. Mm -hmm. Pointy. Pointy. A lot of lights on it. A lot of lights. Can you see what's inside from the outside? Yes, I can. How do you see inside? Just look down at it. Mm -hmm. I can see. I can see inside. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what do you have to do with this ship? Home. What is it? Home. This is your home? here for now. You're here for now? So tell me about this home. Do you have family on this home? Not in the same sense that we have on Earth. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. It's a group. 
It's a group. We don't consider ourselves family. What do you consider yourself? Soul group. Soul group. All right. So let's find out a little bit about your soul group. I'd like for you now to see yourself with your soul group. Be there now. What do you see in your mind's eye? People with clothes on. People with clothes on? Children. Mm-hmm. Children. Can you speak a little louder so I can hear you? There's children, they're running around. Mm-hmm. Men, women. What do they look like? Mm. Take a look at their, their bodies. What do these bodies look like that are running around? The little kids have on dresses. They have on dresses. How long are these dresses? Mm, to the ankle. Okay. Are they any particular color? Floral. Floral. Mm -hmm. Are these children that are running around, do they have a gender? I just see girls. Just girls. Mm -hmm. Boys are in a distance playing in another group. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Mm, they have on... Um, Shorts. Mm -hmm. And take a look at their heads. What do their heads look like? Blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Are all of them blonde? Most of them, yes. Mm -hmm. Do they have hair that is long? Or short? Short. Short hair. All of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they look similar? Yes, they do. Okay. Is there anything else that you can see that distinguish these children? Look at their features on their face. No. No. Okay. Do you see anything about these children that's interesting? The way they play, perhaps? No. No. Very good. So let's find out why it is that you're here with the children. Do you have a body? when you're there with the children? Yes. What does your body look like? I'm a man. You're a man? Mm-hmm. What do you look like? Tall. Tall. Slender. Mm-hmm. Slender. Had brown hair. Brown hair? Yes. What's the length of this hair? Short. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Overalls. What is it? I have an overall. You have overalls. <laughs> what color is your skin? White. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything there today with these children? No, it's a gathering. It's a gathering. What is this gathering about? 
just talking. Mm -hmm. Who else is there with you? It's other people, men, women. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to switch to the time when you are in this gathering. Close the scene that you're in with the children and now go to the gathering. And I'd like for you now to connect telepathically. And let's see what this gathering is all about. It's a meeting. It's a meeting. Tell me more. To find out our next role. Mm -hmm. We get assignments. You get assignments? Who gives you these assignments? The council. The council. Are they on the ship with you? Yes, always. Always. Are you with the council now? Yes, mm -hmm. they have our robes. They have robes. Are these male or female on the council? No sex. No sex, okay. So how many are you gathered there today to determine your next role? 20. 20. So let's find out what happens next. What is said in this meeting? Our individual purpose. Mm -hmm. What we're going to work on. So let's find out what you're working on. Hmm. Acceptance. Acceptance. Why is that? Why do you need to work on acceptance? A fear of being accepted. A fear of being accepted. So how is it that you're going to accomplish that? in this lifetime. Are there others that are going to help you with this? No. You're doing it on your own? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what challenges are ahead of you before you incarnate again? No incarnation is seen. No incarnation is seen. So what do you need to do? How do you fulfill this purpose without an incarnation? Do you yeah. work with someone? There is a misunderstanding out. Mm hmm. Monica doesn't have an incarnation. Ah, Monica doesn't have an incarnation. Okay. Would you explain to me whose acceptance is it that she needs to be fulfilling? Is this an aspect of her? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you explain it to me in human terms so that I could understand what role Monica has to do with these beings on this spaceship?
She's what you would call a goddess. She is a goddess? Mm hmm. She chose. She chose this role. She chose this role. Can you speak louder, please? You can use her instrument to speak louder. As a goddess, she can project a lot louder. As a goddess, what is the role that she plays? To bring forth peace, love, and acceptance. Mm -hmm. And how does she do that? chose to do it by being in the public eye. Ah, okay. But Monica doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Well, it seems that the last time that we spoke, she was very successful in being in the public eye. Yes, that's the fear. That's the fear. Mm -hmm. What is it that's causing Monica this fear of being in the public eye? Is there something holding her back? She was killed. She was killed. Where was she killed? She was killed in Egypt. So is Monica still holding this fear from Egypt? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to find out more about this. This that I'm speaking with right now. Are you part of Monica? Or are you on that spaceship? Both. Both, all right. So I'd like for Monica now to go back in time. I'm going to count from five back to one. And when I get to number one, we'll be back in that time before she was killed. Taking a deep breath in now. Five. Going back in time. To the time of Egypt. Four. Through time and space. Three. Acclimating yourself into that body. Two. And one. Be there now. Where are you? Fourth Dynasty. Fourth Dynasty. What is your name, please? Anakanon. Anakanon? Tell me more. Are you male or female? Male. Male. Anakanon, what do you do there? What is your role? Priest. You're a priest. And as a priest, what do you do with the people? I lead them. You lead them. Anakanon, how is your your relationship with these people? Peasants. They're peasants? How do you feel about these peasants? They're beneath me. They're beneath you. So how do you treat them? Not so nice. Not so nice. What do you do to them? I judge them. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you do not like about these peasants? They're not me. They're not you? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between you and these peasants? What's the difference? I was told I was different. Mm -hmm. Do you look like they do? Yes, mm -hmm. but with wealth. With wealth. 
Were you born into this world? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Anagna, let's find out something that happened in this lifetime that impacted you. Be there now. Where are you? On a veranda. On a veranda. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you see from this veranda? The people. Mm -hmm. And what are the people there doing today? Why are they there? They come for prayers. They come for prayers? Yes. Do you lead them in prayer? I do, but I don't believe in it. Ah, so it's all for show. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you believe in? Talk to the ETs. You talk to the ETs. And what do the ETs tell you? To lead with love. Mm hmm. Are you doing that? No, it's a conflict internal. Mm hmm. So you're telling your people to pray, but you are not doing what you're told. Mm hmm. So, where is this conflict within you? I want to do the right thing. Mm hmm. But my family says otherwise. What does your family tell you? To lead the people, to control them. Mm hmm. I don't want to. Mm hmm. But you still judge them, don't you? Mm hmm So how does this conflict affect, affect you? I don't want to be a priest. Mm hmm Okay. How old are you, please? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. All right. So let's close this scene now, and let's find out what happens with this conflict. We're going to go forward in this lifetime to find out what happens next. How does this conflict affect you? Be there now. My family finds out. Mm -hmm. I am judged for it. They think it's witchcraft. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing that you're found out? Spiritual rituals mm -hmm. with a small group. So you're doing spiritual rituals with a small group? Yes. What do you do in this ritual? I teach them about love. Mm -hmm. I teach them about oneness, what I was taught. Each time they don't have to pray to me. Mm -hmm. They are gods already. And what about your judgment that they're beneath you? What happens to that? I begin to see there's no difference. Mm -hmm. So what happens when your family finds out? I'm killed. See yourself in that moment. Detach yourself and see it from beyond. What is it that they do to you? They cut me. Mm hmm. Where do they cut you? Stomach. Mm hmm. Chest. I was a disgrace to the family. You were a disgrace to a family? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
and in this cutting of your body, what has that done to your spirit? Hurt my spirit. Mm-hmm. And by hurting your spirit, what does that do to other aspects of you that are living simultaneously? It limits me. Mm-hmm. So now what I'd like for you to do is detach yourself from that body and connect with those that have guided you. And I'd like for you now to go into counsel with them. Be there now. And let's discuss this life in Egypt. Where are you? And who's with you? I'm at a table. Mm -hmm. There's beings in front of me. Mm -hmm. What do these beings look like? Very tall. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Yellow? No, they glow. They glow. Like a white. Glow white. Mm -hmm. Aura around them. Mm -hmm. How many are there? Six. Mm -hmm. What do you feel when you're with them? Judged at first. Mm Mm-hmm. What do they say? Welcome back. Mm-hmm. They ask me, what did I learn? They ask me, what could I have done differently? What do you tell them? I told them we're all the same. That's what I learned. I told them I wouldn't have done anything differently. Mm wouldn't have changed the outcome. So now let's find out why is it that you have kept this judgment within your being? Why is acceptance so important? When you can see that there's no separation, you can truly live freely. Separation equates bondage, enslaved, enslaved to the idea that there's a difference. But it doesn't exist. There's no difference. Just the illusion of difference. Mm -hmm. So why is this incarnation of Monica still feeling the judgment?
think she's gonna be hard to hurt. Mm -hmm. She still holds that. She's not. So if separation is bondage, holding on to this idea. It's bondage as well. That's right. Are we ready today to finally release that bondage of judgment? Yes. Very good. Would you allow me to do a ritual to release that bondage from within her soul? Ask her first. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Monica, you have been holding on to all of this judgment, knowing that by separating yourself, you're bonding yourself, it's bondage, and also by being afraid of being judged, you're holding yourself back. Are you ready today? to cut free from all of those feelings of judgment. Yes. Very good. So I'm going to use two things today. I'm going to put a rose quartz crystal on your heart so we can absorb all of that pain of the judgment. Allow yourself to release that fear that's been in your heart through all of these incarnations, release them into that beautiful rose quartz crystal. Feeling it being absorbed and sending it into the light to be healed. And now we're going to be doing a cutting away of the cords that hold you onto that lifetime of Egypt. Are you ready to do that now? Yes. All right. I'm going to wave over you a selenite wand, and as I do, we'll cut all of the cords that are being connected to that life with the fear of judgment. Feel those cords as they are being cut through your whole body. Disconnecting from all of the judgment all of the fear, wiping you clean. Knowing that you're not going to forget, but you will forgive yourself for holding on to something that kept you bonded to an idea that others are going to hurt you for speaking your truth. So I'd like for you to just breathe all of that through and release all of those cords and tell me how your body feels as you cut away from that judgment light mm -hmm. very good so allow yourself now to recede into the back and let me speak now with that part of you that has all of the answers. Would you take a look at Monica now and tell me how this cutting away of judgment will assist her? She will be free to be herself now. All right. Now she has created a theme, acceptance is free. What is the power of those words? Hmm. That was her time in Egypt. Mm-hmm. That was when she first realized that acceptance is free. Mm -hmm. There's no cause for loving others or yourself.
That's freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom to love anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is she learning that now? She is. Mm -hmm. But even though she hears these words that she uses now for her slogans on her clothing, she also hears something that says to her, we hate you. Who is that? Outside forces that don't want her to own her power. Mm. Who are these outside forces? How is it that they interfere with her life? Low vibrational entities, mm -hmm. beings. Are they attached to her or around her? Around her. Mm -hmm. They fight to stay. They fight to stay. What's keeping them around her? Her fear of them. Mm. So would you allow her today to face them? Yes. Because she's not afraid of them anymore. All right. So I'd like to for you now to give voice to the one who's banding around all of these entities. I'm going to count from one to three, and let's speak to that spirit. One, two, and three. Good morning. Good morning. Are you male or female? Neither. Neither. What are you? An entity. An entity. What is it about Monica that you are attracted to? Her light. Her light. Why is it that you're attracted to her light? She's meant to do great things. Mm-hmm. We're trying to distract that. Why is it that you're trying to distract her? That's our job. That's your job. When you come to Monica and you say, we hate you, do you hate her? Yes. You do. Why would you hate someone if you're just doing your job? We don't want her to reach her goals. Oh, I see. So what happens when she reaches her goals? She brings love. Mm-hmm. And light to people. Mm -hmm. She wakes them up. Mm -hmm. And why is it that you hate that? Don't you want to feel that too? No. No, why is that? I like feeling this way. You do? Yes. Well, I, I, I tend to disagree. If you're already attracted to that light, there must be something about that light that has attracted you to her. I would think that's really what you want. You want to try it out and see? No. Let's try a little game. Because you see, that light is within you anyway. You've just forgotten it's there. That light is within you. Take a look and you'll see it. It's in there. Because you see, all of us were created with the same light. This is the light that came from Prime Creator. Find that light within you and you'll see it. Tell me when you see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. Now make it bigger. Play with it a little bit. Tell me how it feels as you expand that light. What does that feel like? Peace. Peace. Mm -hmm. And when you feel peace, is there any room to hate? No. No, because you have it within you, don't you? Yes. So as you look at Monica's light now, how does it look to you? Brighter. Brighter. 
And it makes you feel what? Warm. Mm -hmm. So is there any need to be near Monica any longer since you have this own light yourself? You own this light. Yes, we're attached to her. Ah, so take a look. Now that you are brighting, bright, bright lights, how many of you are attached to her? Six. Six. Tell your buddies what it feels like to have this light. One more has entered. Mm-hmm. Shine the light towards this one. Tell me what happens. He has light in his chest. Mm-hmm. Expand that light. Tell him to expand it. Use a beam of your light to show him. Who is this entity? Alter from a past life. Ah, I see. So he's from another life. Yeah. Why is he attached to her? Don't want to see her grow. Oh, I see. So how do you feel about seeing her grow now? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So what about your other buddies? Are they now full of light? Mm, not all. Of them. All right. So I'd like for you to tell them to go ahead and expand their light. You're the leader. You tell them what to do. You tell me what's happening. Talk to them. They're resisting. Hmm. Well, we're going to do something with you. I want you to go ahead and cast out your light like a big net over them. Cast it out so they could feel the peace that you feel. What happens? They're in it. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and shine your light now within this net. And tell me what happens next. They're all in a net. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to take that net with you? Yes. All right. So I want you to go ahead and look within that light and you'll see a passageway. You'll see the passageway right to Prime Creator, right to the source of that light. Tell me when you see the passageway. Yes. All right, I want you to grab your net of all of your friends and go through that light and go straight back to source. Tell me when you get there. I'm here. How does it feel? Loving. Beautiful. May the light of the universe always accompany you and the others. Thank you. And now I'd like for you to open up that crown chakra and bring in a white light to fill that body. Fill that body with beautiful white light directly from source, healing all of the spaces. And as that white light flows, see if there are any other shadows in their body that are hindering the progress. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is the entity? The stomach. The stomach, all right. So I'm going to bring my hand up into the stomach area. Up, 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 up. You can release all of that that you've been harboring for so long what is your name please Edward Edward how old are you Edward 
92. Edward, how do you know Monica? How was her husband? Mm-hmm. What lifetime was that, Edward? Eighteen seventy-five. Eighteen seventy-five, Edward. Why is it that you have attached yourself to the spirit? I miss her. You miss her. Did you come in with her, or did you find her? I found her. Mm hmm. Edward, what happened to your own body? I died. Well, your body died. How did it die? I was old. Mm hmm. Lonely. So, what happened after you left that body? Where did you go? I've been searching for her. Did you find her in different lifetimes, Edward? Yes, sometimes. Mm hmm. So, why is it? that you have not gone home, Edward. Why do you need this soul? I love her. Mm -hmm. Tell her that. I love you. Edward, how, how old was Monica when you found her this time? Mm -hmm. What have you been doing to her since she was 29? Keeping her from not allowing love in. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I want to keep her to myself. Hmm. What it seems to me, Edward, is that you're missing love yourself. Do you think that only Monica can give you love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I beg to differ. I know you love Monica, but there's something inside of you that will connect you with a greater love than what Monica can give you. This is a light within you. Edward, find that light within you now. Tell me when you find it. Do you see it? Yes. All right. Edward, this is the light that created you. This is the light from source. This is the greatest love there is. Expand that light and feel it. What does that feel like? Mm-hmm. Make it even bigger. Is this the same love that you felt for Monica? No, it's greater. Mm-hmm. Isn't it time now, Edward, that you finally go seeking this love and live in it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell Monica? before you finally go. See you later. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now, Edward, to detach from her body. And Monica, I'd like for you to go inside of your body and cut away any cords holding Edward to your body. Tell me where those cords are. In my stomach. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and Cut them from the inside. And Edward, tell me when you have completely detached from her stomach. Yes. All right. So, Edward, I'd like for you now to tell Monica 
Are you ready to go? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any last parting words? Be great and fall in love. Very good. And we'll go ahead through the top of her head right here, through the crown. And I've got a helper there, Archangel Michael. We'll take you straight back to Creator. Right back home. Tell me when you get there. I am here. Mm -hmm. Who's there waiting for you? My group. Your group. Very good. Very good. What do they tell you? Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much. And now... I'd like for you to go ahead and open up that crown chakra once again and fill that area, that stomach area, with that beautiful white light, sealing it and healing it. And as you do, you'll find that your arms relax back down to a normal position. Feel your arms now releasing any tension that you have as they go back down to your body right there. Very good, very good. So now, let's connect once again with the one that was assisting you. Let me take a look at her body now and see if there's any other entities. No. No, very good. So now that she is shining bright as she should be without any shadows. Let's find out a little bit about these visions of sealing, seeing alien greys. Would you tell me who they are and why she sees them? They want her to join them. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. Wants to stay with her group she's with. What is the difference between the group that she's with and the group of the aliens? Mm -hmm. They want to create confusion. Mm -hmm. The aliens do? Yes. So why are they messing with her? Her message is different. Uh huh. Resonates differently? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has she signed any contract or made any agreements to work with them? In a past life, but not in this one. Okay, all right. So can we now connect with one of those that is trying to get her to come over, recruit her? Would you allow us to connect and find out why they keep interfering with her life? All right, I'm going to count from one to three, and let's connect with those entities. One, two, and three. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell me who you are, please? I have a name that you would understand. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I am the one that contacts her the most. Mm -hmm. Why do you contact her? I want her to keep her agreement. What is the agreement that she has with you? That she will work with us. Mm -hmm. When did she make this agreement? In a past life as a child. Mm -hmm. She played with us. And what was the agreement that this child made? That she would allow us to work with her mm -hmm. to create. To create what? Conflict. Conflict? What is the conflict for? Conflict keeps separation. Mm. And why is it that humans need to be separate and conflicted? 
it's a belief system. Okay. So in creating this conflict, does that help the humans? It helps those that believe it. Okay. So why is it that you are creating this conflict on Earth? It's always been here. Mm -hmm. So just because something has always been there, why does it have to continue? Oh. It's your role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this child in this past life that created this agreement with you, is it the same person that I'm speaking with now? No. No. So if this child from that other life made an agreement, this woman that I have here, Monica, does not have an agreement with you. It's the same soul. Ah. So let's find out from her soul if she agrees to have this. Take a deep breath in. Monica, does your soul agree to have this agreement with these beings to create conflict? No. All right. Well, you're the only one who could break this. So I'd like for you now to speak with this race of beings and tell them what your free will is. My free will is not to create confusion. I don't agree with the contract. I want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be contacted anymore. All right, take a deep breath in. Let me speak with this being. Did you hear what Monica said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you honor this contract? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what do you promise to do now that she has broken this contract and has exercised her free will? We must leave. All right. So take a look around her and tell me, what are those that are influencing her to create this conflict? Who have you sent? Samuel. Who is it? Zerniel. Zerniel? Yeah. Who is Zerniel? Her friend. Mm hmm. What does Zerniel do in her life? He's a companion. He's a companion. Does this companion create conflict? The beings around him does. Mm -hmm. Zerniel loves her very much so. All right. And what kind of relationship does Zerniel have with her? It's friendship and intimacy. Mm-hmm. Is this friendship and intimacy done on a physical plane or an astral plane? Astral. Mm-hmm. So let's find out from Monica's soul. Monica? Do you realize that you have had a relationship with Zerniel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you continue to want to have this relationship? Knowing that he is here, bringing you all this conflict? No. Only you can break this agreement with him. Do you wish to do that now? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to see Zerniel before you. And I'd like for you to tell him what your wishes are. To break the contract. Mm-hmm. To free me of confusion. All right. So let's speak with Zerniel. Zerniel? Hi. Hi. Why are you causing her so so much confusion? It's not me as much as the energy around. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems that your company is not wanted in her life. Mm -hmm. Are you willing now to disconnect from this soul's life? Yes, I will miss her. Mm-hmm. All right, take a deep breath in. Monica, I'd like for you to see both of you with a contract in your hands and I'd like for you both to tear up that contract
I'd like for you to tell him now. We tried. We've really tried. We tried. We really tried. But it's not working. But it's not working. You go your way with love. You go your way with love. And I'll go my way with love. I'll go my way with love. We don't need to be together anymore. We don't need to be together anymore. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you both to take those pieces of that contract and there's a bowl of fire by your feet. Throw those papers in that fire. And as they turn to ash, Cernial fades away. Check in with your body, your astral body, your etheric body, your physical body, and tell me how that feels as this influence has left your life. Light. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let me now speak with that gray that was speaking with you. Can you tell me now how her body looks now without all that influence? It's clear. Clear. Very good. So do you have anything else to say to Monica now that she has broken your contract with you? We will leave in peace. Thank you very much. Take a deep breath in. Monica, do you have anything to say to these grays? Thank you for leaving in peace. Thank you. Send them off with love. I send you off with love. Mm -hmm. Very good. And let's disconnect the connection. Seal it. Very good. And now I'd like to ask the one who's answering the questions for her. She needs to go to the bed. Very good. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Monica's shoulder. And when I do, she'll open her eyes. And then she'll be able to go to the bathroom when she comes back. Go even deeper, allowing you to connect. Eyes open. connection. Allow yourself now to connect telepathically and tell me where you are. What do you see? See different types of beings, all different shapes. Mm-hmm. Describe these beings for me. Some are tall. Some have what look to be wings. Wings? Mm-hmm. How many do you see? Four. Mm-hmm. But in the distance, there's more. They're just not clear. So I'd like for you to connect telepathically with these beings and tell me who they are. Ancestors. Ancestors. Very good. My soul group. Your soul group. Why are they here today? What message do they have from Monica? Here for support. Mm -hmm. What is the reason Monica has come to this session today? What does she need this support for? For her to overcome her fears and go on her path. Mm -hmm. What is the path ahead of her?
It's a path of being well known. Mm -hmm. She's been well known before as a priest in Egypt. Yes, she has. Mm -hmm. And that didn't end very well. No. So how is it different this time? She has a better understanding this time. Mm -hmm. What does she need to do with this understanding? That she creates. Mm -hmm. How is it that Monica creates? With her thoughts. Mm -hmm. She has the power. We were told at the beginning that she is the goddess. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you define that for me, please? What do you, on the spiritual realm, consider a goddess to be? It's a human term, but an evolved being that chooses mm -hmm. to take on a physical form. Mm -hmm. Not because they have to, but because they want to. Mm -hmm. So what was the choice that this goddess had to take on this physical force? What was the reason? In each life that she has taken on. She's always had to face acceptance, mm -hmm. love and journey. Her path is the same lesson. It is. Over and over. Has, oh. she, has she learned it in the other lifetimes? No, this is the first one. That's why so much was attracted to her because she's finally reached it. Mm -hmm. it. Took her a lot of lifetime. So, how far is she now on this path of learning acceptance? She's there now. She is. Very good. Now she says that she's, you said that she's been not accepted in the past. For example, she had a dream that she was being choked and something was around her neck. Tall green and purple beings. Who are all of these? The dream that she had was one of the greys trying to take her. Okay. She fought that off. Mm -hmm. We interrupted that. You did? Yes. So are you the green and purple beings? That was a different dream. Okay. That was the dream when she asked to see us. Okay. So how about the one where she she yelled to Jesus to not take the body? Was that one of them? That wasn't a dream. She was awake. She was awake. Yes. So that yeah. actually happened. That happened. Okay. So can you explain to her what happened that time? She was in bed watching TV, and she felt something was lifting her body. Who was lifting her body? She was watching a TV program mm -hmm. about aliens, and that energy transmitted. And subconsciously, she connected with it. She wasn't blocked. Mm -hmm. She was open. So they tried to take her, not to harm her, but she has free will, mm -hmm. and they tried to take her against her free will. So she stopped it? Yes. Where was it that they were taking her to? To their ship. To their ship. Have they done that before to her? Not that group. Hmm. What is the group that has been making marks on her body? Palladians. The Palladians. What's going on with them? Why are they marking up, marking up her body? They 
it was a way of awakening her mm -hmm. to the energy force around her that's assisting her. Okay. So, did they harm her in any way? No. What influence did they have on her? Did it help her on her path? Okay. So this group that she is connected with now, is this her soul group, the one I'm speaking with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is the one who detached her arm from her body? That was the grace mm -hmm. scaring her. Okay. So it's just a, a way of, of keeping in control over her? Yes. Mm -hmm. And who are the ones that are keeping her from sleeping? That is just all of that energy, the interference she had. Okay. With the outward. Okay. So in the future, do you think that she's going to be able to sleep better? Yes, she said so intention she will. Okay, good. And she tells me that most often her body will shake or shiver. It's like energy passing through. And recently she started thinking that something was entering and leaving her body. She was feeling Edward. She was feeling Edward. Okay. So Edward is now gone. That's correct. That's correct. Good. Now she also feels a very strong presence around her at her home and work. And it gives her a headache. Was that Edward or something else? Something else. What is that? That's a higher being. Mm hmm Why is that higher being connected with her? It's an Arcturian. Arcturian. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Who is this Arcturian? Can it identify itself? It's a male energy. Uh-huh. And why is this male energy around her to help to help but it's giving her a headache yes how can we change that what is causing the headache the frequency is not matched mm, okay so can we begin working today to raise her frequency so that it will match this Arcturian can we do that now Oh, with her permission. All right, so take a deep breath in. Monica, are you ready now to begin raising that frequency? Yes. All right, so take a deep breath in and begin revving up that energy. Feel the vibration. Make it stronger. Keep making it stronger. Bring in the light. Let's find the light frequency that, that goes the same frequency as this Arcturian. I want you to go ahead and look at the spectrum of light and see which one march matches this Arcturian. What color is this light? Purple. Purple. All right. So I'd like for you now to see yourself as this frequency of purple matching yourself to this Arcturian. And tell me how that body feels as it flows in purple. Hmm. Very light. Very light. Very good. So now feel the energy of the Arcturians and connect with this male entity. And take a deep breath in and let's connect with him now. Connect. Good morning. Hello. Can you tell me what it is that you would like to help Monica with? Expanding her gifts. Mm-hmm. 
Well, she wasn't expanding before because with your presence, that energy was giving her a headache. Look at, look at her body now. What is the frequency that she's running on right now? With all of the entities now gone, she's working at a higher frequency. Wonderful. So what message would you like to give her today? That she is safe. Mm-hmm. We're only here to help. Very good. And I have a question for you. She's received a painting, a drawing of a being who's very beautiful. Who is that being? That is a Palladian. That's a healer. Palladian. A Palladian what? Healer. Healer. Very good. This Palladian healer, does she work with Monica, with you? Separate. Separate. All right. Very good. What do you look like? Purple in nature. Very good. Very good. But sometimes I appear white to her. Mm hmm. Does she see you? Her mind's eye, she does. Very good. Any other message that you would like to give Monica or anybody else? Allow us to help. Do we need to put ourselves in that purple frequency to match yours? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. So now take a deep breath. And let's detach from the Arcturian. And let's connect now with that Palladian healer. Good morning. Good morning, Alba. Good morning. Do you have a name, please? Andreas. Andreas? Yes. Andreas. Is that picture the one of you? Of you? Yes, it is. You're beautiful. Thank you. Can you tell me what it is that you're working with, Monica? On? Expanding her intuition, her healing ability mm -hmm. to heal others. How are you doing that? Channeling. Mm -hmm. Help her raise her vibration. How's it been? It's been difficult with the interference, but we'll not be moving forward. Okay. She's resisted. What about now? No. Mm hmm. She's connected now. Good. How often do you work with her? Not as often as I would like. Mm -hmm. So now, after this session, what do you imagine? It would, it would be ongoing. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that she can connect with you easily? Through thought. Mm -hmm. Keeping my picture. Mm hmm where should she keep your picture? She has it on her nightstand. Mm -hmm. She hasn't fully committed to the work. That's why it's not in a frame. Mm -hmm. When she puts it in the frame, she's committed? Mm, yes. Okay, good. What kind of frame would be best for your picture? Whatever she likes. Very good, thank you. So she says that she has always been holding back because of the work that she does in a three-dimensional world. She wants to be out there and help more people. Yeah, she says it all the time. Mm -hmm. But she's resisting it. What is causing that resistance? Fear of judgment. Mm -hmm. So today we saw that she had quite a few energies there yes. that were interfering. Were some of them 
putting thoughts in her head? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So what thought would you like to put in her head today? That is, she is love and light. Everyone is. Mm -hmm. People forget that. And when we remember that we are love and light, we expand. Mm -hmm. We evolve. Now I have a question for you, Andreas. People have been asking about the new Earth. We were discussing it before this session. Can you tell her a lot about that? New Earth is a consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's understanding the whole All the comfort is so unnecessary. But more people are deciding to choose love over hate. Hate vibrates at such a low frequency. So many people are choosing love and light because it feels better. They see that hate is an ugly thing, and those that choose hate stays behind. It's simply a choice. Very good. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Monica today? Stand in her power. Help others. Don't be afraid. Those that are meant to hear a message will. And those who are not won't. Not to concern herself with those that do not want to hear it. There's more than enough people that do. That's where she needs to put her focus. You're going to be judged no matter what. So why concern yourself with it? Other people's thoughts of you doesn't matter. It's just what you think of yourself that does. Apple's right. You are who you say you are. All people need to know that out. I am who I am. I am that I am. That is correct. It's just that simple. Humans make it more complicated than that. Other people's opinions of you are just that. It's theirs, not yours. You can't control it, so why bother? I worry yourself over something you can't do anything about. All people need to know that. Very good. Is there anything Monica would like to ask or say to Andreas at this time? I let go of the fear. Take a deep breath in, Andreas. How does she let go of this fear? The moment she focuses on herself. Mm -hmm. And her purpose, which is to help others, that's all she needs. Mm -hmm. Intent. That's right. Doing that alleviates fear. She'll be owning her power then. Mm -hmm. She has a big job ahead. It's time to get to it. But she's been dragging her feet. And 
now or never. She's choosing now. Very good. And she wants to know how she can spread her message, how she can get more speaking engagements so she can spread this. We gave her the idea of her t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Because of the messages. Mm-hmm. Subconsciously, when people see her clothing, it resonates with them. She's doing that. Very she needs to get to more people. Very good. Very good. Is that all you have to say for her t today? She needs to believe in herself more. All right. She needs to manifest what she really wants. She's been manifesting fear. When she let go of that, her world will open up. So Andreas, take a look at her body and tell me where that fear resides. Where in her body is she holding that fear? Her throat. All right. Would you allow me to take that from her now? With her permission. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Monica, would you allow me now to release all of that that is holding you back? Release what has been holding you back from speaking your truth? from being who you truly are, for exposing the goddess within you. Yes. All right. I'm going to cup your throat, and I want you to go ahead and release all of that fear that you've been holding. Give it to me. Release it all. Pull it all out. All the I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. People will not listen to me. People will judge me. People will hurt me. Pull all that out. All of those feelings, all of those emotions that have held you back from being who you truly are, from finally stripping away the true God is within you. Tell me when I have it all. You have it. Let's take that and send it to the universe for healing. And now, what would you like to put in that throat? What beautiful stuff can you put on that throat to allow it to flow your voice freely? Love. Mm -hmm. Let's put that love in. Feel that love going in. In fact, I'm going to put some of that selenite right by that throat. Allow it to bring in all of that love into your throat. Feel it as that beam of light as it flows. Very good. So now, Andreas, take a look at that throat and see how it's flowing now. Very well. Very good. Thank you so much. Is there anything else? Or are we complete? We have a message. Thank you. What is the message, please? need to allow themselves to serve. Serve doesn't mean hmm, how do we find a word? Serve for the highest good of Creating that you're helping yourself. I 
understand that's why you're here. It's not war. It's not fighting. It's to help one another all we all. And to understand you're all one. To let go of the illusion of separation. Everything is energy. There's nothing that's not energy. Thoughts are energy. You think better thoughts than solid being. You send out thoughts of love, so shall it be. Why choose hate when love is so much easier? See past the illusion and accept one another for who you are. That's the message we've been trying to get across for so long. And now people are waking up to it. More light workers are needed to bring the message forward and that's why we're here to help. But so that there's light, there's darkness as well. But you have free will to choose light or dark. More people are choosing light. That's why they don't like government so much anymore and politics and all of the things. It all, it's all at a low frequency that doesn't feel good anymore. We're teaching people to wake up that they control their own destiny and reality. You don't like something, change it. It's a choice. Help others, you're helping yourself. That's what you're doing, Alva. Mm -hmm. That's what Monica is doing. You come from a place of love, you shall receive it. There's great abundance for all. We are complete. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Welcome back. Let's switch those stones so we can get you grounded. Let's use some shungite here. So, how'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's, that's the answer. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't realize that Manny was with me. Mm. I knew it, but I didn't know just how many. Mm -hmm. I feel so light. I don't feel heavy like I felt before. Mm -hmm. And I finally have the answers of who's with me. Yeah. Which gives me great peace now. Yeah, now you have to flow purple. Yes. <laughs> to, to go a different frequency. I have to go a different frequency. Wow. Yeah. That anybody can do. Yeah. Yeah. Now you understand what you needed to learn here today. Yes. Quite yeah. a difference, huh? Quite a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is this something you want to share? Yes. I think so. Yeah. They didn't say not to, so. Yeah. I, we'll, we'll take <laughs> out parts there that are that are personal. Okay. Okay. Hi. I just realized something. Little green people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Monica. so funny. <laughs> so, show everybody what you just saw. This says acceptance is free. And we have to move the camera down yeah. a little bit so you can see it. Acceptance is free. And this is one of the t shirts that, yes. that uh, you created. Yes. So, uh, show everybody your. 
your Pleiadian. Let's, yes. Let's bring it up here. This is Andreas. This is the the Pleiadian that we were speaking with. Beautiful. And so now we're going to, she's going to frame it. I will. <laughs> so this was your second, this is the second session with Monica. Yes. What, what do you think was different between this one and the last one? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this, the first one never got posted, so people yes. didn't see that. Mm -hmm. This one was more about love and acceptance, which yes. is universal. Yes. Which is for everyone. And mm -hmm. that's why mm -hmm. the decision is made for this to be public. Yes. Because I think everyone needs to hear that message. Now, the, what was the last session like, briefly? The last session was more about self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And within a matter of months, I was able to get in with you again to bring this message forward. So, yes. So it's all divine timing. It's all divine it, timing. It, you know, some people can't get a, a session. Some people get double because it's really all in timing. I, I, you know, we don't plan this at all this no. way. And so after your session, the first one, what were the changes that happened? <clears throat> After the first session, they told me I was going to create a clothing line, and I did. <laughs> and that it will eventually take off once I kind of let go of my fear of judgment and what mm -hmm. people would think of me, that it will open up. And I learned that in this session, I created it, and I'm like, okay, it's not doing anything because I was still hiding. And when you're hiding, people don't know you exist. <laughs> <laughs> So, and you also do public speaking. What happened, and you had kind of a fear of that too, didn't you, when yes. you first came to me? The first session, I had a speaking engagement immediately following the session. And I was able to go out and um, I sold out of every book that I had She's brought a writer. with me. I'm a writer. So they bought all my books. I received a lot of positive yeah. um, comments back from people like, we're so glad that you were here. Your message was awesome. And it was just literally, you helped me get over that fear of speaking and getting out there to get my message across. Fabulous. What is so, the yes. name of your book? Journey to Loving Me. Lessons learned along the way. There you go. <laughs> and so this book is, is wonderful. So uh, we'll put, a, we'll put uh, the information down okay. on, in case people want to buy it. Because I sure. think this has been a really nice one. And uh, what do you recommend to everybody after having... That experience, the first one, which was so personal, and now this one, which is a message really to everybody. What do you recommend? I recommend people stepping in their truth. Yeah. And stop playing small mm -hmm. and stop being afraid to be who they are. Exactly. Acceptance. It's free. It's free. It's not just acceptance of others, but acceptance of yourself. And I learned that through this session was that I was not honoring and accepting myself mm -hmm. for fear of judgment, but also just not just a fear of what can be possible for me. And I kind of learned that, that once I let go, the sky is the limit. We are very powerful beings. Yes. We are super, each one of us is super powerful. So depending on what you are generating in your mind that's what yes, you're creating what so you're creating. if if people are saying oh i'm so unworthy i'm so this i'm so yeah, everything negative that's what you're going to be creating in your life because you're that powerful but yes. if you're changing it around and, and you start believing yourself yes. and going out there and doing stuff you, one, of, one of the things that that i have always had in my life is if nobody else is going to do it then i'm going to do it you know, because yes. nobody else is doing it. Nobody's <laughs> stepping up, so I'm going to do it. And when I do it, it's become successful because I realize no one else is doing it. So everybody out there can start doing That's these true. things that nobody else is doing because we all need to play our piece. We are all pieces of a puzzle here. Once we realize what this puzzle is, you got to play that piece, and Correct. it will affect the whole, the whole puzzle piece. You know, the, yes. what do you call that the whole map, the whole, the whole map, the whole yes. globe. And uh, you kept going back to spaceships. I kept going back to spaceships. And it's like, why am I going to spaceships? What, what is that? And I realized that it was home. That's your home. So <laughs> <laughs> go figure. When I was like, who are these people? Are you ready to own that now? I am ready to own that, that that's home. Yeah. Yes.
and I'm not afraid and to own the fact that I do have a spiritual gift and I am intuitive and that I do speak to spirit and beings and everything else. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. Well, imagine me. Okay, I know, right? <laughs> the other people, judgment and thoughts are, are theirs. Yes. Yeah, not yeah. mine. Yeah. And just say, just hearing that and saying it just frees me. Yeah. Because I have to do this for me, not Good. for other people. So Good. seeing you today. <laughs> it was great. Yes. It was great. <laughs> you know, so, so if you want a session with me, if it's your time, it's going to happen. Go to my sure. website, albawyman.com. Sign up for your newsletter. The newsletter, um, I have a mailing list of people from all around the world. Sign up. Please tell me where you are located because we do do targeted mailings where I'm going to be in certain areas. So make sure that you put your address in there so I know where you live. And about once a month, I put out this newsletter. It tells you where I'm going to be. I could be in Miami where I'm where I reside, or I could be anywhere. Right now, we are in Chicago. Yes. Is, she came to Miami last time, but this time I'm here. And um, I travel all around, uh, going to different places. And if you're meant to be here, you will get that newsletter and you will sign up. So um, I hope you enjoyed this session. This was a little bit different. Yes. I had a message for everybody. Yes. Everybody. <laughs> so... Own your gifts, own your power, go out there and be yourself, okay? And you will attract those yes. that, that resonate with you, okay? Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Bye. Bye. Give me a big one. Give me a big hug.